What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute glute superset workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. I'm so excited that you're here today for our glutes workout. We're gonna be focusing on glutes and hamstrings today, working hard in a strength style supersets. So you've got two exercises back to back, 40 seconds each exercise, three rounds through, okay? So make sure you have your water and your sweat towel. As for your dumbbells, I'm gonna use anywhere from my eight to 10 pound dumbbells for a fire hydrant move, so kind of locking it in here. You can also use your glute resistance band for that if you have it. So I just like to give options, whatever you have. Resistance for a claim shell and a fire hydrant, all the way up to our heavier dumbbells for Romanian deadlifts. If you have a barbell, you can load that up. Okay, so I'll use up to my 40 pound dumbbells for that. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Thumbs up if you are ready. We're gonna start hips going back in three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze at the top. So you stretch and then you activate. Right before you come in, start squeezing back here. Don't just wait until you get to the top. Squeeze all the way from the back. Good job. Three, two, and one. Perfect, back up in the middle. Pull your knee or pull your toe up to your knee. Tap down, lift the heel. Eight, seven, six, five. Good, squeeze the glute here. Four, three, two, one, and switch it over. Same thing, heel push down to the floor and then lift it to the sky. Toe pulls up to your knee. Good, six, seven, there you go. You're squeezing right here, glute medius. Eight, nine, and 10, good. Feet wide apart, let's go hinge back, sit down, stand. Hinge, sit, stand, good job. Give yourself time to go from hinge to dropping your hips, lifting your chest, stand. Good, two more. Last one, hinge, sit, stand, good. Come on out to the side, let's twist. Rotate the torso. You'll be using your core a lot today. Okay, stabilizing. Okay, keeping your balance on one leg exercises. If you're ready for that, and also just holding your form and your deadlifts and your glute ridges. Three, two, one. Great job. All right, take your left knee up and out. Right, up and out. Opening up your hips a little bit here. Up and out. Good. All right, take that left leg back. Straight leg out back. Open up here, reaching up to the ceiling so we can really open up this hip extension. Good. Push that hip forward. Three, two, one. Straighten your front leg, come down to the floor. There you go. And step it up and switch, okay? Right leg goes back, come on up. Okay, get stable. Then reach your hip forward as you open it up. There you go. You want this back leg hip to be stretching, stretching, stretching. Three, two, one. Great job. How are you feeling? Good? Side to side, let's go here. Three, two, and one. All right, so first exercise we're gonna do, or first superset, I should say, it's gonna be a lateral leg lift and a lunge with a kickback, okay? So your lateral leg lift, we're gonna alternate one and one. So left and right, left and right, okay? So say I'm gonna start with my left leg. I'm gonna bend the leg, I'm gonna lift, extend, come back down. Okay, lift, bent, extend, then down. So you're lifting, bent, taking that leg to straight when you get out, and then coming back in. Okay, second exercise. Without this, we're gonna go lunge and kick back. So you're gonna step it back, kick back, one, two, stand. Lunge, one, 
to stand, okay? So let's start there together with your leg lift, bend and extend, two, one, let's go. Take it out, bent, straighten, back down. Straight, or sorry, bent, straighten, and then back down. There you go. Bent, straighten, back down. Good. And this is gonna warm up the top of your glute really well. Make sure you're not kicking backwards. Whew. Straight leg extension. Good. Three, two, one. And rest, good. I'm gonna drop this down, grab my 15 pound dumbbells. And we go reverse lunge, two lifts, and then switch legs. Okay, so it looks like this. Lunge, one, two, switch. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Step it back, and then lift that heel. Up one, whew, up two, <laughs> come back in. It's okay if you lose your balance. I do it all the time, but we just keep going. Good. So you have a little forward hinge on the two lift. Good job, come on, sit, come up, lift, lift. 10 more seconds, you're doing great guys. Two, one, awesome, and we're back to the leg lift, okay? Alternate, and by the way, this one is so isolated. If you wanna grab onto something and hold here, bent, straighten, that's fine, okay? I'm gonna try to stay up here with you guys, working on my balance anyway, so this is good for me. Let's go. Bent, straighten, back in. There you go. There you go. The leg doesn't need to be up high here. Just lifting it away. There you go. If you're like me and you're working on your balance, try to think of everything stacked up on top of the stationary leg. You've got 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. One, rest, good. All right, lunge and two kickbacks. You're doing great. Dumbbells, you can go up if you would like. I'm gonna stay right here. All right, eight seconds. Lunge, lift, lift. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Here you go, and really give me a good squeeze. I don't wanna kick to where you're just arching your back and getting it back there. I wanna kick lifting the heel with the glutes. Good. Feeling that good pump? Good. Almost there, 13. Beautiful, five, four. Finish right here, three, two, one, rest. And we've got one more round. Let's go. Whew. And if you're clamping dumbbells behind your legs, this will be probably better done on the floor, like in a fire hydrant, okay? And I can tell you, even if I wasn't using the band, this would be a good challenge, just warming up these glutes. Let's go. Good, lift, bend. Straighten, bend, come back in. Good, all you're thinking is get your thighs away from each other, okay? Don't lean away from the leg that's lifting so it shouldn't be here, right? <laughs> shouldn't be leaning out and kicking. Stay right over this leg, okay? And then switch. Good, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, the first super set. My glutes are already on fire. We've got one more set of your reverse lunge 
and two kickbacks. Doing okay? All right, let's finish strong right here. Three, two, one. We take it back, push up onto that front leg. One and two with the back. Good. Down, push to the front leg, heel lift, heel lift. Keep your core tight throughout. Nice job, 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. All right, dumbbells down, grab some water. We've got your staggered Romanian deadlifts or alternating single leg. Either way, it's a single leg deadlift and then sumo deadlifts, okay? So we're gonna go either alternating, staggered. So front leg does all the work, always. You're down here, dumbbells are in my hand, okay? If I'm staggering, my weight is not going back to this foot. This is just my balance assistance. If you can, you can go ahead and lift here, okay? <sighs> Second exercise, sumo deadlifts, okay? We're actually gonna go down, conventional style, okay? So we're here, nice and wide with our feet. Here, drive your knees out as you come up, okay? So let's start in eight seconds with those single leg deadlifts. I'm gonna go with my 20s. Here we go, alternating two, one, let's go. And you do not need to go to any certain depth, okay? Also, don't take it to where you're just bending to get lower in your back, okay? Shoulder blades are pulled back, they stay back. You dig the heel down, you pull the shoulder blades back. Think of your butt, it reaches back like you're trying to shut a car door, and then you bring it back in over top of your heel. Eight, seven, three, two, one, and rest. Good. Sumo, just regular deadlifts. Okay. I'm gonna go for my 25s. All right, we're going low here. All right, so toes are pointed forward, but the feet are wide. Sitting down, driving the knees out the whole time. Two, one, let's go. Down. Good. And if you can't go as low as the floor, go as low as you can with your back flat. So if I get here and I realize I can't go any lower, I don't want you to go here. Okay? I want you to go as low as you can. Good form. And back up. No back rounding to reach down. Notice my chest stays up, right? I'm not rounding, I'm not reaching. Three, two, one, rest, good. All right, back to the hinge. Lift your leg if you can. Keep it on the ground if you need to, but one leg at a time. You doing okay? I'm shedding, my hair is tickling my back. There it is. Three, two, one, let's go, single leg. Nice. Center yourself over the middle of your foot on the ground. It really helps me to think of my heel going straight back from my hip. Just like my hips are going straight back, that's what my heel does. Keep your shoulders and your back strong and straight. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, sumo conventional deadlifts or squats. All right, if you're using a barbell, it would be here. Okay, you would be here picking up. All right, let's go with your dumbbells in three, two, one. Here we go. Down. 
Dig the heels down. Good. As low as you can. Good job. 12. Great job. All right, single leg deadlifts. Last round, you doing okay? All right, you're doing awesome. We'll get a minute rest after this, 10 seconds. Okay, Whew. let's go in five, three, two, one, single leg. Take it back with your hips. Good, press the whole foot down. If you lose balance, you're fine. Come back in. Slow it down, recover from it. Focus. Body alignment is so important here. I literally think of stacking myself over the stationary heel. Keeping that whole foot gripping the floor, coming back to where everything is stacked over that heel. Nine. Three, two, one, and great job. All right, here we go. Last round, sumo, wide squat, or conventional deadlift. If you have a barbell, it's the same thing. Okay, you're seated and you're standing. Let's go in five. You ready? Yeah, doing good so far? Two, one, dig the heels down, press it up. Good job, come on. Keep your form throughout. Don't start getting tired and sacrificing form. Focus harder on it. Don't say it gets harder to hold form at the end. You focus harder. Keep it strong, work harder to stay there. Nine. Two, one, rest, good. You've got one minute rest. I want you to grab water. We're gonna go for lateral lunge, back squat hold, and glute bridges next, okay? Whew. All right. Whew. Good work, you doing okay? All right, so our lateral lunge, back squat. I want you to have this on your back. If you can't go on your back, Go right at your chest, or hold right here. Either way, we're moving laterally, okay? That's the point. We're gonna stay nice and wide. You're gonna dig your heels down and put your butt back over your heel. Dig the heel, dig the heel, okay? If you need to stand up in between, come to full hip extension, sit back and down, okay? Let's start here. Five seconds, the minute went quickly. <laughs> Ready, two, one, Let's go, wide stance. Sit back over the heel, push. Heel, push. Think of how your body feels in a split squat or a regular squat, okay? Sit it back and down. Come up in neutral. If you can go side to side, that means you can maintain this angled but flat core, okay? Six, five, three, dig the heel down, two, one. Great job, you're down on the floor for a glute bridge. All right, put your towel down if you need to. Stack the dumbbells if you're going to. Okay, lay it flat. Just as soon as you get there, go ahead. All right, ready? Two, one, and let's go. That's it, if you're feeling this all in your back, I challenge you to squeeze your glutes sooner. Okay, so don't just lift and wait till you get up here, then squeeze. They should squeeze in order to lift, okay? 
10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Whew. All right, lateral lunge, gliders. Good work. I know we're moving some challenging weights here. Form stays the same. Priority. Okay, let's go. Two, one, here we go. Sit back and down. There you go. Notice I'm not in here, so my knee is not inside of my toe. It should stack up just like a squat. Right over top of that heel. Dig the heel down. That's where you get your glute activation. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Whew. And we're back. Glute bridge. Come on down. If you're going with the double stack, I know it takes a minute. Just get that dumbbell right on top of your upper thigh, and let's go. Go all the way down if you can. I know it's hard if you're holding double dumbbells. All right, stack it how you can. Squeeze the glutes together to lift fully. Don't just lift and then try to squeeze. Okay, they squeeze in order to lift. Six, five, three, two, one, and good job. Last round, here we go. Lateral lunge. Come on up. Core is still strong and tight, right? Any time in that lateral lunge, you feel yourself going here, drop the weight to in front, straighten it back up and sit. Okay, two, one, let's go. My core and my back are working just as hard as my legs are here. Okay, so don't think it's all legs. Everything up here, all this has to be strong. You have to get it stronger by doing things like this too. Nine, eight, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right. Glute bridge again for the last time. And then we move on to another superset. You're doing great, how you feeling? Good? Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Now if you would like, if your weights are a little lighter, I'm having trouble with the stack, I'm gonna be honest. So I'm gonna leave it up here. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes under, okay? Almost like I'm trying to tuck my tail. Squeezing my glutes together so hard that my belly is nice and flat, my hips are neutral, okay? The glutes are reaching so hard for each other. 15 more seconds. So if that's you, you're having trouble stacking weights, I want you to keep it up here. Seven, six. Squeeze harder for three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful, all right. Grab some water. Whew, there's always a way to make it work. I know sometimes it might be frustrating to stack those dumbbells. You're strong enough and you're ready for that. So find another way, get good tension. Hold it up in the air with heavier weight or challenge yourself to hold it and open your legs a little bit. All right. So if you have a kettlebell, you can pull it out. If not, I want you to grab just a dumbbell. I didn't bring my kettlebell out here today, but we're gonna do single arm swings, okay? Really important to keep these two in mind, your shoulders and your hips. If at any point they start floating away from each other, this way 
or this way if you're doing it too heavy or maybe not right in general, okay? The whole time you should be level hips, level shoulders. Even when you're swinging one arm, don't let it go here, okay? So from the side, I'm taking this dumbbell back through my thighs, straight, thighs, straight. I want your arm to go out here, out here. So when you're out front, you're crunched in here so everything is nice and straight, okay? So let's go in 10 seconds, left arm first, out, straight. Okay, I'm gonna start with my 20 pound dumbbell. Okay, we'll go in three, two, one, single arm. Right out in front of your chest. Hand comes in to keep your shoulders straight. Good, now that you've got this rhythm, Squeeze those glutes for the last 15. Back, forth, not rounded, not seated. Back, forth. Three, two, one, rest. Whew, we're doing the same thing with the other arm, okay? So we go right arm now. Remember, when you go back, arm comes out here. Okay, same thing, just switching arms. I wanna keep this technique, three solid rounds here. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Hips are straight, don't let your shoulder twist down. You come here, okay? Flat shoulders, flat hips. Now drive the heels, 15. Heels down, come on. Four, three, two, one. Rest for 20, good. We go one last round. I want you to go 20 seconds on the right, or sorry, the left, we started with the left. 20 seconds on the left, put it down. Then 20 seconds on the right, okay? Five seconds, here we go. I'm gonna go up to my 25. Three, two, one, left arm, come on. Squeeze the glutes. Everything is tight, right? Abs, hips, switching in five, four, three, two, put it down on the floor. Switch, and let's go. Heels down, come on. Come on, squeeze. Four, three, two, and rest. Beautiful, great job with that one. I want you to go all three rounds there just to make sure you got the form down, okay? Next thing we have, lateral squat walks, okay? Abduction is the glute activation goal here, okay? You can either use glute band or put a dumbbell on your back, okay? We're working on, again, the legs going apart from each other, all right? If you have a glute band, they have to be pushing outward for this band to work, okay? So if I pull mine together, it's not gonna work, right? They're fighting outward the whole time. Hands are here, you step out, stay down. Three, two, one. Do not bring your knees back together. If you don't have a band, you're holding a dumbbell right here, your butt is staying down. Okay, knees and toes right over top of each other. So you're not here rolling into it. Okay, notice this position, and we should never ever <laughs> see this position. Step out with confidence. A little closer, out. Good job, seven, six, three, two, one. Now can you stay here? 20 seconds, stay right here if you can. Just a little pulse. Good, down, up down, 
up. We go again in 10. There you go. Drive those knees out. We walk again in four. Three, two, one. Now sit it down and stay. Good. Lead out like you're trying to step down with your heel and your pinky toe. Okay? Not your toe to pull yourself over. Stomp that heel out, out. Beautiful, come on, last 20. Fight it out, fight it out. This band is on your legs and your legs are together. It can't work, it has to fight you. You have to fight it. Okay, and if you can't step out, it might be too heavy. Three, two, one, sit it here. Down, up. Nice and slow, just to keep it rocking. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, stay here. Knees out, five. We've got one more round in four. Three, two, one, now sit and stay, let's walk. Knees over the toes, knees over the pinky toes. Come on. Push through the burn. If you are upright, you might be using your quads a little more. Sit your butt back and down. Stay here. Good job, come on. Go, go, go. Keep that butt back and down. You've got 10, nine, and yes, we're gonna do a one more. 20 second pulse. Five, four, keep the knees out. Three, two, one, sit it down. Down, up, down, not locked out, but just down and a little higher. Down and then less down. <laughs> okay, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, hit six, hit five, four, three, two, one, and you can take your band off. Great job. Grab some water. All right. How you doing? Pretty good? All right. So we moved it out to the side. We're gonna go single leg glute bridge, okay? With a straight leg raise. And then I'm gonna grab my light band. All right, and I'll show you kind of what we're doing here. All right, so. First one, single leg glute bridge. We're gonna stay up in this glute bridge, okay? This leg is gonna go straight. You're gonna flex your heel at the top, okay? Heel, toe, heel, toe. So I'm sorry, point your toe at the top, flex your toe towards you at the bottom, okay? So let's go there in nine seconds. You start bridging on your right leg. Right leg is down, hands are down by your side. Let's go in three, two, one. Put this foot up, point your toe, then take it down, flex the toe. Good. Keep this glute firing, okay? Beautiful. Keep it up. There we go, give me 15 more seconds. Let's go for 45 here. Five, four, come on, three, two, one. Flip it over onto that hip. So we're on the right hip now, okay? Light band if you would like. And you're gonna lift that left leg again, just away from your thighs, okay? So we're here, okay? Let's go in two, in one, lift it up. This is where you can also have a dumbbell, right here. If you need a little more stability, drop down. You can straighten that leg, okay? Go to where you're challenged, as always. 20 seconds. Ten. Keep your hips forward. Six, five, three, two, one, and flip it back over. Take the band off. We're gonna switch legs now, okay? So now we go left leg bridges. 
Right leg comes flex, point, flex, point. Okay, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, bridge it up. Come on, stay up here. And if you need a modification, you can go down, lift. Go all the way down, okay, and then lift. Good, flex, flex, flex. Come on, keep it up. Keep it up, come on. You've got eight, seven. Three, two, one, ouch, good. <laughs> All right, flip it over onto the left hip. I'm gonna throw my band back on. Okay, left hip, right leg lifts away. You're doing great. I know it's burning. Me too, come on. We're open, here, here. Keep going, good job. I know how you feel. We're just trying to get thighs away from each other. You're just lifting that heel up to the sky. Nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Flip it back to your back. Whew. Single leg marches. Okay, so don't worry about that toe point. Don't worry about that, we're going single leg. Up one, I'm gonna take this band off, you don't really need it. Okay, up one, up two. See if you can float your butt the whole time. Ready? Let's go. When you get that march, tuck the butt. Okay, so it doesn't need to be here, it needs to be here. See the difference? I can squeeze my glute here. I cannot with my belly up like this. Here. Heel stomp, lift. Heel stomp, lift. Heel stomp, lift. Heel stomp, lift. Don't push through your toe. Heel stomp, up. That's it, heel, drive. Heel, drive. Come on, you're right there. Give me seven. Dig that heel into the floor. Push it through. Two, one, and rest. Good job. Whew. All right. Let's put the band on here, taking it up a level, okay? We're starting here, hands and knees. You open it, lift, down, open, lift, or lift, either way. Okay, we're rotating side to side. Ready? Let's go. Okay, if you could step this up, you can go on your toes. Feel free, right here. Okay, everything's got to flex when you get over there. From your hand, chest, abs, legs, everything is flexing. Good. Let's keep this going. We're gonna go all the way for 20 more seconds. You can do it. You're fine. You can do this. Come on, strong, you're strong, you're strong. Lead with the heel, heel high. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop to your hands and knees. And you've made it to your cool down. Drop your hips down. Beautiful job. 12 exercises, three rounds all the way through. I am so proud of you. As always, check the description if you would like a little bit more. I've always got those 10, 15, 20 minute glute band workouts. If you want more, you don't have to do more. I'm definitely not what I'm saying, okay? But I just want you to know you have options for wherever you're at in your journey, okay? Good, lift it back forward again. Drop the hips down. Nice, tall, long back. Beautiful work today. I hope you learn 
every time I do a glute exercise, I think there's so much information about glute workouts. I just want you to understand what you should be feeling. The hips and the low back, such, such a kind of fragile, touchy area if you're not sure, if you're not certain, if you're not confident, okay? And if you don't understand how it should feel and what the function is, okay? Tuck your toes down, lift your hips and your belly up to the sky, heels to the floor. Oh yeah, <laughs> feeling this one. Heels down, push down into your heels. Once you get that, if you can keep your heels down and lean away from your heels a little, go for it. Just want you to feel that stretch all down your calves. Good, walk it back, walk it back. Good, hang it down here. You can reach back to your heels, pull your chest towards your thighs. And release, bend your legs just a little bit. Tuck your tailbone in one vertebrae at a time, starting at your tailbone. I want you to roll it up. Slow, slow, slow. Keep your head looking down. And as you come up, slowly lift your gaze. Okay. Take your neck over left and right. Ear to the shoulder. Don't lift your shoulder, just take your ear over. Good. All right, hands on your tailbone. Big exhale and push forward. Come back up. And again, big exhale, push. And one more time, up to the center. Big exhale, push. Beautiful. All right, side to side. Take it a little bit wider. Okay, glide down with the side, stretch and open. Okay, anytime we're doing glute workouts, you're gonna hear me talk a lot because I just want you to feel the form the right way, okay? I want you to know my hips are hinging. I should feel a neutral hip. I should feel all the power coming from the glutes, going from flexed, going from stretched to flexed, okay? With abduction, I wanna know what's going on. Good, take it over, roll and reach. Roll and reach, one of my favorites. Push your hip open on this side and roll and reach. Good, one more each. Last one. And back up to the middle. I am so proud of you. Like I was saying, I always want you to know that you're feeling confident in the movements, okay? Anytime you're going back and forth, hips should never be rolling here, okay? This should always be tight. So your belly button should never extend like it's reaching to the floor. It should never tuck back like you're trying to squeeze your glutes under like a, a dog that's in trouble, right? <laughs> it should be neutral. A little bend in the knees always helps. You should go down. If you have a second to stay for a little technique coaching, okay, I always tell people, if you feel a screaming in your hamstrings right here, if your flexibility says right here is as far as I can stretch with no weights, you should not then reach further because what am I reaching with? My back, right? How many of you feel yourself doing this on the way up? Okay, you're going here and you're like, wow, this isn't far enough. So then you reach down and then you pull up with your back. And then afterwards you say, my back hurts. I'm not doing it right, okay? If you think of me holding a straight, like a broomstick from here to here on my tailbone to my neck, it should always touch, okay? So if I am rounding, what's that broomstick gonna do? it's not gonna touch anywhere but this one single spot in the middle of my spine. I want it to touch everything. From here, back up, flat. And if I can only go to here, but I'm flat, that's fine. That's what we want. Core is engaged so your ribs aren't flaring. Tucked here, okay, belly button is tight. Hips are neutral and we're thinking, squeeze the hip flexors, squeeze the glutes together to extend the hips, okay? So tons of coaching on that. I talk about this weekly in the Sydney squad. How do I do a deadlift? How should my form be in a shoulder press? How should I feel in a leg raise? That's something I'm so, so passionate about. Something I'm gonna try to get on my social media a lot more because I want you to feel good and confident in your lifts, confident in your attempts to get stronger. 
Okay, so always here for you. Please know that. Make sure you check out the Sydney Squad in the description below. I would love to have you. I would love to help you. Love to welcome you to that community. And before you head out, don't forget to engage with the channel in some way. Show it some love so we can keep growing and changing lives. So if you could, make sure to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel. Comment below what you thought of this workout or what your favorite move was. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a good day.